For many years of my life, my mom and I would travel to various places around the world. We explored the United States, Canada, Europe, and the Caribbean. We loved sightseeing and visiting attractions. A number of years ago, we spent a summer driving across mainland Europe. We started in Amsterdam and made our way through Belgium, Germany, Switzerland, and Austria. We were on a tight budget and tried to find affordable accommodations. I used a travel book written by Rick Steves to locate cheap places to stay. The book gave a great overview of the lodging places and detailed the approximate price for each room. Europe has many different lodging choices. They range from sleeping in a large room with many other people to five-star luxury living. In Amsterdam, my mom and I stayed at a youth hostel. I had no problem sharing a bunk bed with a stranger and sleeping with about 30 other females. My mom, however, did not like sharing her sleeping quarters with others. She did not feel comfortable putting her luggage in a locker at night and hoping and praying the items would still be there in the morning. From that time forth, we stayed in accommodations with private sleeping chambers. My mom did make a concession. She agreed to sharing a bathroom with others if that meant we could save a lot of money on the room rate. At a hotel in Austria, the lodge I picked had one bathroom for each floor. There were about eight rooms on each floor. Each room could accommodate two people. So there were about 16 people who shared one bathroom. The bathroom was split. There was a toilet in a small room in the hallway. The sink and shower were in a larger room down the hall. During the day or at night, it was not too chaotic to use the bathroom, but the mornings were very busy. Everyone was up around the same time. 16 people lobbying for the shower tested everyone's patience. My mom wanted to shower after she woke up. She waited a while and then was excited when she saw the door to the bathroom was open. She grabbed her toiletry items and off to the shower she went. She undressed, showered, and changed into her clothes in the bathroom. When she was finished, she exited the bathroom. To her horror, a hotel guest from Germany was standing in the hallway naked with only his towel in his hand. My mom could not believe her eyes. Where were this man's clothes? My mom raced back to our room and told me about her hallway encounter with the hotel guest. A short while later, we went down to breakfast. We found out the man from Germany placed all his shower items in the bathroom. He then went back to his room, undressed, grabbed a towel, and went back to the bathroom only to find out my mom had snuck into the shower. The man was not happy. He waited in the hallway with nothing but his towel in his hand to ensure he would get the shower next. He did not see a problem with it. I laughed at the story. My mom, however, was still horrified anyone would walk around a public area with no clothes on. When we left the hotel to continue on our journey through Europe, most of our hotel rooms after this incident were en suite, which means they have their own bathroom in the hotel room. We did not see any more naked people at our hotel for the rest of our trip. Although many years have passed, I hope and pray I regain some of my health and am well enough to travel once again with my mom. There is nothing better than enjoying new sights and sounds and sharing it with your best friend. The memories we create are precious treasures. With that, I hope everyone has a very special Mother's Day. May they stay be filled with lots of love, joy, and laughter. May all the mothers and mothers-to-be be celebrated and honored on this special day. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below.
I hope you have a great day, a wonderful week, and a happy Mother's Day. Bye-bye.